Hello, it's Marco and Torch here from Markham 3D, and today I'll be doing a very quick overview of the Garment Tool, which is available from a link in the description below. So once you have the Blender add-on imported, on the right-hand side, we have Garment Tool, and this is what we've got at the moment. Let's start off by pressing Shift A, add in a curve and a circle. Come over here onto the right-hand side into the curve settings. We're gonna change the shape from 3D to 2D, and we're gonna change the fill mode from none to both. What I'm gonna do is create a singlet. So let's now put that into position, the front piece. And so I'm just gonna rotate that, put it about here, and we all roughly know what a singlet looks like. So let's select this. I'm gonna bring this down, GZ, and have our singlet come from about there. Let's now W, subdivide, and quickly just make a singlet shape. So while I've got this section up here selected, I can press V and then change it the, to a vector type, bring that up. Let's do another subdivision in here, give an extra geometry, G, go V, vector type, and then let's do one more W, subdivide, change it to a vector type, and we'll plop it in about here-ish. Um, we can select the individual lines to change the angles, so let's bring it in maybe like so, and we'll bring this one down, V, vector, make that a square. Okay, bring that there. It's a little bit too low, let's bring it all the way up to about here there we go that looks quite nice and now with this middle bit selected we can press symmetry and now we've duplicated mirrored it sorry let's just come in i just got to fix up this little section delete this vertice and delete this vertice there we go so that's looking hunky dory i think i might just bring these down just a smidgen there we go give it a little bit of extra under the armpits let's go tab into edit mode and i'm going to shift d and push this one to the back and then let's grab this section here, GZ. There we go, lovely. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reposition that so it's a little bit closer to the actual person. There we go, that looks nice. And now it comes time to start putting things together. So up here where it says garments, let's add a new garment in and we get a whole bunch of new options. From here, I'm gonna select both and convert to mesh. Let's add in two sewing patterns and we'll use the eyedropper tool on the first one. So the front and the back. From here, let's start sewing them together. So we come up here where it says shirt and we link these two together. And then what we'll do is we select the back and it'll come along those edges that we created. I'm gonna select the back first, select the front mesh, and there we go. Over here on the left-hand side, we get a little bit of extra information. If I wanna add some more sewing, I press A to create a new sewing area, seam, I guess. Let's select the back area. Let's select the front area, there we go. And let's do the same on this side. Say so A to create a new sewing. And we'll do that again, A, there we go. And when finished, press enter or spacebar. I will press enter. Let us now convert to mesh. We will move this generated shirt up into our collection. And now we're just working with the shirt. So we can hide these other two Bezier curves because we don't need to see them. And now if I were to press play, let's see what happens. It just falls straight to the ground. Now there's a few things that hasn't happened is I need to up the resolution of this. So I'm gonna bump this up to probably a hundred. Let's give it a bit of extra oomph. Let's convert to mesh again. And we should see that there's a whole bunch of more sewing lines there, which is really good. The next thing we've got to do is we're gonna actually give this character some collisions. So let's go into the modifiers, sorry, into the physics properties and add collision. I'm going to thickness of the outer layer, put that down to 0 0.002 and I'm gonna select this mesh. And in the same physics tab, let's come down to collisions, scroll down to distance, and we're gonna change this to 0.002. So I'm just finding that's got the best results. But now still, if I press play, doesn't work. So what's happening is the mesh is falling too fast. So what we can do is simulate time. If we go to initialize simulization, we get a whole bunch of new keyframes here. What these keyframes do, is if we come into the scene properties, we can see on the gravity, the gravity is pretty much disabled, but then it slowly over time starts to re-enable itself. All right, so now let's try, and that didn't seem quite right. So that's fine. So this section up here is a bit too tall. What we can as well do is, especially if you're doing sleeves, this is really important, is we can come here into the Bezier and we can select these bend def uh, deformation 
And now if I go convert to mesh, you'll see that this mesh here will now bend around the body itself. However, we see that it kind of intersects with the body at the moment. So let's come back into our two Bezier curves that we've hidden. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these both and let's select these and we'll pull this out a little bit. GX and select these GX. And now once again, if we go to convert mesh, hopefully that won't be intersecting as bad, which is not too bad. The next thing I'll do is let's just hide those two Bezier faces. I'm going to come into this section and we'll go into front mode. I'm going to press into wireframe. I'm going to press C to for our selection picker. There we go. And I'm going to turn on proportional editing by pressing O or pressing the proportional editing button up here. Let's go into solid mode so we can see I'm going to scale on the Y axis. And let's just bring that in a little bit. There we go. So it's kind of a little bit closer. And now technically if we press play. You can see that now it's sewn itself up and we've created a wonderful shirt. Now what I can do is I can go space and type in shade smooth or F3 for search. And then we go, we've created a singlet. Very quickly, very simple. This is the garment tool, link in the description. If you have any recommendations on any other add-ons, please leave a comment, let me know. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out and keeps you up to date with any other Blender add-ons that I'm reviewing.